Oh no, that's not good. Oh no. Oh no, it's looking terrible. Mm. It is hot, isn't it? It's too hot. Look, they're panting. Guzzling water. It's hot. Folks, it is hot. And my plants don't like it. A lot of them are dying. And so they get about three to four hours of just straight heat of the day sun blast. But the saving grace here is that around four, three, four o'clock, the sun gets behind these trees. We'll get some dappled shade. And this is key because they're still getting sunlight, but the surface temperature of the ground and on the surface of the leaves is not getting as hot. And these trees are cooling my garden down. So in this video, we're gonna go over three ways to not have dead plants because of heat. Because the summer is brutal. So the first one, is to simply grow plants that love the heat. This is a passion vine. See its flowers back here? There's a really pretty one right there. These passion vines come from the tropics. They don't mind at all. And um, this plant has not wilted, it hasn't curved, I've never watered it, nothing. It just thrives, but it's a wild plant. So of course, a lot of my plants aren't faring so well. So that's the one that's the first thing you can do is just grow plants, love the heat. Basically, after a hot summer, whatever's left, keep growing that stuff in the summer. Next summer, do the same thing. Second thing, let's change scenes for that one. All right, so the second thing you can do is grow some trees. This is some kind of leguminous tree. Think a river tamarind. I found seeds in a random lot somewhere and grew. But these and my moringas, which there's a little clump right there, those are great trees for the heat. They withstand the heat really well. Um, side note, I grew like 10 in a little clump and they're doing better than the ones I grew on their own. Maybe I grew 20 in a clump and there's only 10 left, I don't know. But one of them's not doing great. But this little clump over here, right here, is doing great. Also, these river tamarind are doing great. Here's what's special about these trees. Well, one, they're legumes, which is always good just to have legumes. Um, Look into why legumes are great. I probably have a video. But the other reason is the way the leaves are designed is they let light through, but not a lot. And so they're mostly shady, but your plants need sunlight. So it will let enough light through. So I will probably, whenever these produce seeds, I'll probably be producing more closer to my garden because the garden's back there and, um, you know, this tree's right here. So it's not really shading anything, except for that blueberry right there, right now. Also, it's putting nitrogen in the soil. It's good for the neighboring plants, so that's cool. Um, very heat tolerant, drought tolerant, all that good stuff. Same with the Moringa. And so having more of these small shade trees in your garden is actually helpful in the heat. And you're like, well, what about the winter when they're not so, when I need more sun? Well, chop them down. This tree will tolerate, well, a moringa tree will chop, tolerate a chopping down every year. In fact, mine will freeze back down to the ground, down to the root every year, and then they come back up. So it's kind of helpful. And then by the time the heat of the summer comes around, those I planted this year, and they're already like five, five feet. And in another month, they'll probably be six feet. So they grow very quickly and can shade your plants. Now this final way that you can keep your garden cool, and I've been employing all three methods, um, simply to water during the heat of the day. That water evaporating off the leaf is gonna take heat away from it, it's gonna cool it down. And so, and then the same thing, because the reason they wilt is because too much water is being drawn out of the leaf. And so if you irrigate more, the roots are able to bring up more water into the plant to then release. And so it's basically, it's kind of, it's actually like a, 
kind of a suction happening as that water is evaporating on the leaf. It's pulling more water up. But if more water is evaporating faster than it can pull up, well, you need more water on the bottom. So just watering, irrigating, getting your plants wet, getting the ground wet, all that is going to help when we have these hot, dry spells like we do in North Florida right now. With good planning, you can plant the trees you need to protect the food you're trying to grow during the summer, the heat of the summer. If you're crazy like me, you just gotta do it because you always gotta be growing something. These moringas are good stuff. Um, same with the river tamarind behind me. And uh, you could shade a whole area with these and they will protect the plants you're growing. Because I got a bunch of popcorn that I got roasted. Didn't even pop, just died. So, hope that helps. Hope that I hope that gets you thinking in the right direction and how to keep your plants cooler because you can do it. And if you have a totally open area, you definitely need trees because when these plants get shade from these oak trees up here, they just are like, thank God. And uh, they're able to relax. But man, when that sun's hitting them, they just curl up and just look terrible like death. Hope this helps.